Welcome back to another video, and oh my god, do we got some crazy news that is literally about to change the landscape of media forever. Like, literally forever. This is the beginning. This is the starting point. Like, this day, this year, marks the history of, like, when media changes forever. Mark my words. You guys remember that video not too long ago? Maybe like a year ago of Will Smith eating spaghetti, but the video looked really, really weird. It looked kind of uncanny. Uh, it almost looked disturbed. It was just really disturbing. It looked scary. And not even a year later, or about a year later, a new AI model has launched called Sora. Now, Sora is a text-to-prompt video AI generator, but the results are actually terrifying. Now, I don't want to use buzzwords just to try to scare people, but the results of the text to prompt are so accurate that it's almost indistinguishable between what's really shot by a human and what's text generated from AI. It's actually pretty crazy. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the examples that they put out. And no, it's not open to the public yet, obviously. Uh, if it was open to the public already, that would be extremely dangerous. But just from the results that we're seeing, and this is early. Remember, this is extremely early text to prompt video AI generated. I don't know how long it take, took these videos to generate. Could have been an hour, could have been a day, who knows, because these videos are like extremely highly detailed. And yeah, let's just take a look at it for ourselves. So, so if we go down here, uh, here we are. So prompt, a stylish woman walks down a Tokyo street filled with warm glowing neon and animated city signage. She wears a black leather jacket a long red dress and black boots. Now this looks so damn accurate to real life. And if you show this, like obviously for the people that are like younger and that are really in the tech and stuff, you're gonna know what to look for just to like see the break in the AI to know or like, okay, this is an AI generated video. You could see some frames look kind of weird or the, if, if there's any text in the video in the background, it's gonna look kind of weird, like it's not complete text. So you'll know like, oh, that's an AI generated video. But this is only a year after, you know, text to video AI generation. This is like almost, it looks like seven to 10 years of technology advanced, but just in a year. Like this is pretty crazy. So right here, like if you look in this video, you can see that like, it's pretty damn accurate to what the prompt says in the bottom. You even got the, like the wet, like rainy street, like GTA five, kind of like super heavily modded cyberpunk mod looking like aesthetic going on here, but it's pretty damn impressive. Um, going down here, they even have some footage of like historical footage of California during the gold rush. Now this looks really good because it looks like it's a, it looks like it's cinematically shot like a movie intro intro or something. Sorry. I kind of stumbled over my words there, but you get the idea. Now looking back at the video, you could obviously see like, okay, there's probably going to be like some weird, like architectural problems within the AI generation. But showing this to somebody like who still uses Facebook or like your mom or dad or something, they're probably going to look at this and be like, who shot that? What is that? Like you could imagine the kind of things that could be used with the, this AI video generation if it got out to the public. And like if people started to just basically, you know, I don't even have to really say anything. It's just pretty, pretty damn scary how good this shit looks. And, you know, even for a second when I was seeing some clips on Twitter before I even knew that it was AI generated, I was like, damn, that looks kind of fire. Like, what is that? And then comes to find out it's like part of a thread of some like AI video generated stuff or whatever. But this is pretty crazy. For another example, we have like prompt. The camera follows behind a white vintage SUV with a black roof rack as it speeds up a steep dirt road surrounded by pine trees on a steep mountain slope. Dust kicks up from its trees. The sunlight shines on the SUV. You get the idea. Like how long the prompt is and look how it generated this video. Now, you could probably look at the video here and look at the, the back of the truck and kind of see that like, okay, this wheel placement's kind of off. You know, this probably, if anything, the wheel placement is going to be center for the backup tire or the spare tire or whatever. But um, looking at the video, like just showing this like a quick two second clip of this, you probably wouldn't even be able to tell that this was AI generated. Now, moving forward, my thoughts on this is like, this is really badass. Like, this is really cool. This can do a lot. This can there's just so much that can be done with this kind of technology. But it is pretty damn scary how good it looks already. I mean, showing this to people like you could show this to damn near anybody probably and they'll be like, 
yeah, so like, what, what's up with the video? And we'll be like, well, do you think this was AI? Or do you think this was shot by a real person? And then they're going to double look at it and be like, they might pull out some nooks and like some crannies and be like, oh, well, this might be AI generated. But like at first glimpse, it's pretty scary that you didn't even realize it was AI generated. Um, Like, this is just crazy. Like, like, there's still like, obviously, like work that needs to be done to it and stuff. But like just looking at how accurate the the generation is, like the generating like prompt is, is actually crazy. Like if you look closely, of course, you can see some things that don't look all that, you know, on point. But still, you get the idea. Like, like I said, you show this to your uncle or auntie or something or somebody who still uses Facebook on a daily basis. And they're going to be like, you know, what's up with this? I'm going to be like, this is an AI generated video. It's not real. Nobody shot this. There's no person behind a the camera. There's no, this is all generated by a computer. And that's pretty damn terrifying. If you ask me now, I don't want to get super dystopian here and be all like, you know, uh, you know, basically like, oh, the end is near and we're headed towards, you know, Blade Runner 2049, but God damn it, we are pretty damn close to a lot of dystopian things that exist in movies and sci-fi movies and things like that and it's kind of concerning to me i'm not gonna lie it's kind of concerning because when you sit back and you look at the world that we live in today and how much mass media is manipulated and how much information is funneled and messed around with before it reaches the public you can imagine what kind of what kind of things this technology could be used for depending on how it's rolled out now is this is probably going to be some sort of ai model that's going to be only like licensed or contracted or something or like you have to pay a massive amount of money to use it might be only available to like certain studios or animation studios or things like that it's probably not going to be like an open public ai text to video generation just that anybody can use like come on that's gonna be dangerous we i'm pretty sure the people that are behind this the devs are like yo this falls in the wrong the wrong hands there's gonna be some serious issues but when you really look at it it's it's just it's 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 scary and it's really really cool at the same time i think it's so dope but i also feel like damn this is like this shit is gonna be used for so many of the wrong things is going to be crazy like I, they even they can even do animations like pixar animations like this is probably dangerous for people that have animation jobs because i i shit you not they probably will lay off people or fire people or find a way to cut back paying animation employees and just let the ai do it itself or probably have the ai generated and then have animation studios like or people that do animation touch it up and make it look like it's not ai generated but you get you get the idea of what i'm saying here this is like some pretty next level shit like it almost feels like it's not real because it's happening so fast like right now but it's here like it nonetheless it's actually here so this is pretty crazy to me i mean honestly let me know what you guys think in the comments like do you think we're this is going to be used for the wrong things do you like it do you disagree with it do you think it's cool let me know what you guys think about it me personally i think it's badass but it does scare me because it's like uh I mean, because honestly, if you ask me, I feel like we're just literally headed towards like, give it another 20, year, not even 20, give it like 15 years and television and just advertising is going to look even closer or feel somewhat more closer to like a dystopian like feel to it. It's going to get there. It, it's it. the technology is there, but it's like, I don't know. It just feels closer than we think. It's not really going to be like in the year 2080. I feel like it's going to be like in the year 2036 like that's gonna be like when we're like oh oh it's time for like a revolution or something but i don't know but let me know what you guys think my name is dylan switzerland i think this is a really interesting topic and let me know if you guys like when i cover these topics or would you prefer me to stick more to gaming topics i mean i also i'm into more things not just games so i love to talk about anything that piques my interest whether it's like ufos movies music film especially video games i'm a gamer here obviously um but yeah, let me know what you guys think. My name is Dylan Switzerland, and I'm out.